Alex here, health product researcher of the last 15 years. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over how to maintain the Echo Go devices from the company Echo Wellness, Echo Technologies, formerly known as Synergy Science. Uh, in this video, you're going to see the Echo Go Plus. Uh, that is the um, higher priced version of the Echo Go. The Echo Go is white label. Uh, if you're wondering about this product and you came across this video, you can see my first part of my video, my first uh, review with a link below in the description. If you're not aware of this type of hydrogen water machine uh, to make enriched hydrogen water. So in let's push play on this video here and I'm just going to speak over it. Um, so one thing that I'm about to point out here is that uh, to maintain the optimum amount of hydrogen production that means splitting it. There is a platinum, a special platinum coated um, uh, plate down there and I wanted to point out in the picture um, that it's very white looking and the reason is because over time the charge, the electric charge that's generated across the plate on the screen will bind to um, certain mineral salts in your water. Okay, uh, and uh, those bond to the plate and they coat it and this will actually um, negatively impact the amount of hydrogen that you can split from the water. Okay, So to maintain the optimum performance we want to try to take off some of that mineralization uh, and, and again if you're using like really alkaline water or your water is very hard at home uh, you know you can basically use a couple different solutions. In this case uh, you can use citric acid solution Okay. Citric acid uh, is something that you can find in like lemons and stuff like that uh, is what gives it that sort of like tartness. So you can also find it easily. So you don't have to get some like pharmaceutical grade citric acid or anything like that. Uh, you can just go with this. Um, it's also commonly used in making like jellies or uh, preserving foods or whatever. Um, so any of these will do. Uh, it's just 100% uh, citric acid that's all it is and so when you actually then mix that into solution uh, then what that is going to do is it'll increase the pH of the water and citric acid will actually help uh, with taking the minerals off of the plate so how much water do you need not much because uh, if you use less water, you have a greater concentration, right? You don't need to fill the whole thing up. It just has to touch the plate at the bottom, ultimately, once you make a citric acid solution. Pretty easy, right? So um, I'm going to finagle here and mess around with a teaspoon trying to get it out with one hand. But anyways, um, so how much do you really need for that volume of uh, water? And, which is probably just a couple ounces, right? It's just a couple ounces. Um, let's imagine that I just scooped out a quarter of a teaspoon, okay? A uh, quarter teaspoon in that volume of water is pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Uh, so you're just going to shake that around. And I would use warm water. doesn't matter the type of water you're using. doesn't matter at all. Tap water is fine. So you see there's still a little bit of citric acid uh, granules in there or crystals. So you're just going to want to keep shaking until that eventually dissolves. Okay, because that will increase. You want it to move into a full solution and, and, and dissolve into the water to make it acidic. So just keep shaking until you see no particulates. The warmer the water is, the faster that will happen. And then you're just going to literally let it sit on your counter and uh, wait, I would say, at least four hours. Uh, if, uh, if you haven't done this cleaning routine in a while, and you may want to let it go for like 12 hours, okay? Just kind of depends. Now, depending on how hard your water is, okay, or how many like... Um, minerals, yeah, what type, of, especially alkaline type of minerals you have in there, uh, you, in your water that you're putting into the Echo Go, right? When you make it, uh, you may want to do this every two weeks, okay? Uh, if uh, it's very like hard, mineral-rich water, uh, if not, then you could do it like once a month, just to make sure that you are op producing the maximum amount, or concentration of parts per million of hydrogen water. In other words, that's laid out in the specifications. So when the company says you can make, you know, 2.5 or whatever, it's there's different levels you can make depending on how many cycles you run, of course. But when they talk about that, if you want to if you want to guarantee that you're forever going to make that potency, you will have to run it through a cleaning procedure like this. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, you know, I, I read that, you know, the Echo Cup and whatnot has like a cleaning cycle on it. Um, that is true. 
it is good to do. Um, however, uh, it will not, if you are going to do the cleaning cycle uh, that's kind of built in, I would do it, um, again, depending on the type of water, uh, definitely probably like if you're using a lot, you're doing a few cups a day, uh, I would run it probably a few, a few times a week. Um, and even still, you still have some mineral buildup. But again, it depends on the type of water you're using. What's the best type of water to, pre to prevent any potential uh, possibility, right, of mineral breakup or buildup, I should say, on the cathode anode plate? Very simple. It would be the least mineral rich uh, and the least hardness, which would be distilled water. Now, normally you don't want to be drinking lots of distilled water all day long, right? Uh, and uh, unless you're doing like a cleanse and then it's awesome, you know, if you're doing certain types of detoxification strategies for a limited amount of time, it's really helpful. Um, but in general, you never want to be drinking distilled water all the time for several reasons. So, it, but it's perfectly okay if you want to have distilled water, um, or I'm sorry, make your hydrogen water with distilled water. Uh, because you only are having, as you can see obviously in the photo, just a few ounces of that water to create the hydrogen uh, cascade signaling effect in the body that is laid out so amazingly in all the studies and research. So you just need the right amount of concentration, parts per million, and when it hits your gut, it starts to hit, a ca there's a cascade or signaling in the body, even long after the hydrogen is gone. Because the hydrogen in your body, it's already like gone within minutes. It's already moving all over and it's moving literally out of your body from every direction. So, but, but it's about the cascade effect. So anyways, going on a rant. So having that small amount of distilled water just a few times a day, no big deal at all. So if you don't even want to deal with having to clean, um, and maintain, just use distilled water, okay? One other little tip is if the, the colder your water is, the higher concentration and the more optimum you can dissolve hydrogen and hold hydrogen, okay? So if you got like the echo pitcher, okay? Or, you know, you're making a larger amount or you just wanna preserve what you made and have a higher potency later on, hours later, which you can do as long as you leave everything sealed you can keep it in the refrigerator or you can use like ice cold water to make it initially. And so that is a little tip for you is using colder water. Uh, you can hold that concentration for longer. And then if you don't ever want to have to deal with cleaning it again, you can drink distilled water. Okay. Or water that's softened. Okay. So if you do have a softener at home, a softener will of course take out those minerals in your water or precipitate them out that normally would adhere to the cathode anode of ionizers, okay, of water splitters, these types of devices. So again, if you have a softener, you will really not have to clean your device very often. I'd say probably give it a soak still every two months, whatever, just to, you know, have it as optimum functioned as possible. Because uh, your softener doesn't work perfectly, but it works pretty darn good. I mean, it mostly takes most things out of the water. Um, so that is another little tip for you. Um, anyways, continue on um, if you want to watch this playlist as we do go over some other hydrogen technologies with inhalation and also uh, one of the best whole house water filters, softeners, and structurers all in one. Um, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Thanks.